Hi, my name is Elwin LaRue. I'm the Regional Executive Director of the Halifax Regional Centre for Education. After six months, I am very excited to welcome you to September 2020. This school year promises to be different than any other. We're following Nova Scotia's back to school plan and the most current public health advice and we'll continue to do so as the year progresses. If conditions change, so will our approach. This plan includes multiple and layered public health measures to ensure our shared health. Some of these changes will include mandatory hand sanitizing before entry into the school, frequent opportunities for hand washing throughout the day, designated entrances and exits for students, directional arrows to control hallway flow and minimize interaction, staggered lunches and recesses, enhanced cleaning, arranging classrooms to allow more space for students, increased outdoor learning, and cohorted classes. Cohorted classes simply means that the same students will stick together as much as possible through the day. And don't forget those masks. Non-medical face masks are required to be worn inside by all students in grades 4 to 12 and by all staff. And any student who rides the bus must also wear a mask. I wanted to take a moment to talk about some of the layers of protection that you'll see within our plans for students at school. They're a call to action for us all. For students, it's a call to learn and follow hygiene practices at school and to work to adjust to the difference between what school was when they left and what our shared health requires of them to do now. For staff, it's a call to strict adherence to public health guidelines for schools, for supporting students in their transition to reopening and to support their colleagues. And to you as families, we're counting on you too. Before sending your child to school, please use the daily COVID-19 checklist. Students must not come to school if they are unwell, even if their symptoms are mild. Another important reminder is to have a plan to pick up your child as soon as possible should they become sick at school. Students who are not well need to leave school immediately. And finally, wash your hands. Teach your children the importance of proper and frequent hand washing. Show them how, remind them again, and model the behavior. At school, we'll reinforce that with multiple opportunities to wash and sanitize hands throughout the day. Our shared health depends on us keeping 60,000 pairs of hands clean, and together, I know we've got this. September 2020 will be different in our schools. We'll be talking about hand sanitizer and cohorts and following arrows. But together, we can also ensure that students have an experience that reminds them school is about promise, it's about creativity, and it's about working together for their future. Wishing you and your family a great start to the year.